Kings 1, yeah, 1 Kings 7, 1 through 2. Okay. Solomon was building his own ha house 13 years, and he finished his house. You know what's interesting? It's 11 years. It took 7 years to build the temple. It took Solomon almost twice as long to build his house. I don't think it was because Solomon was like, okay, you, you can work slower on this. No. I think this kind of shows where Solomon's heart was going. And how far he'd end up falling. Because the wisdom God gave him would have told him that his house wasn't as important as the house of God. Yes, he's king of Israel. But the Lord was his Lord. The Lord of Lords. And he didn't recognize this. And he put a lot into his house. Putting his riches down here on earth rather than Putting his riches in heaven. Verse 2. For he built the house of the forest of Lebanon. The length of it was a hundred cubits. And the breadth of it was fifty cubits. And the height of it was thirty cubits. On four rows of cedar pillars. And a cedar beams on the pillars. So okay. This is nearly twice the size of the temple. Was Solomon starting to think. Who's twice as big as God? Surely not. But he started to have an issue with himself. You know, David saw his house and looked at the tabernacle and realized that God deserved better because of what he had. Solomon may have worked in reverse, saw how the beautiful the temple was, and thought he deserved better than the priest. But ultimately, the temple wasn't the priest's home. Is the house of the Lord. And we have forgot this. Sometimes we need to realize how big God is. But that we're just his servants and we're never going to be as big as him or never should attempt to be as big as him. 